Hey, welcome back. This is Mark's Garage Channel. I was just getting ready to install that sun visor. And I'm standing here, and I don't know if you can see it the way I see it. But right there, right there on the fender, under the fender, on the floor, on the cardboard, there's a huge stain that's not usually there. It's just jumping out at me. I'll just walk in a little closer. See it there? That is right underneath the transmission. Let me see if I can scroll up, so to speak. It looks like right under where I was screwing around the other day with the speedometer gear. So there I am now. I had to change gears, so to speak, literally and figuratively. I had to put on my coveralls. I'm crawled under the truck. And you can see that the speedometer cable is dripping. There's a big drop on it now. And right under that drop is where that puddle starts. And the cardboard's a little downhill, bent a little, so it, it's rolling and forming a puddle. So that's a lot of gear oil that's coming out of this transmission. So what I think I'm going to do is go get... Uh, the transmission of the oil bucket put it underneath take out that drain plug and drain the transmission to put fresh oil in but then again I'm thinking I should probably try to stop that leak before I do anything why is it leaking so badly why is that leaking is there supposed to be a gasket in there I bet that's it there's supposed to be a gasket and I don't have it oh boy gasket that's what's probably missing maybe an o-ring in here or something i don't know let me take that off and see what's going on all right so i set the tripod up and i probably should have brought a rag under here with me but i got a channel lock and let's just first thing i want to do is make sure i made this tight so i'm going to see if it tightens anymore uh, it turned about five degrees so I gotta believe it's tight but let me put my hand over here uh, it's tight why is that leaking oil it's just a big sense unless there's supposed to be a gasket inside of there oh man I put this right down in the in the puddle let me pull this off and take a look at it and I will mention Mike from Mike's Repair Shop and Joe Sousa and some other people have been giving me really good comments in the previous video um, that something's not right in here. That you should be able to see the, I think there's a ring gear around the shaft that's supposed to engage the speedometer gear. And for some reason, you can't see it. So maybe something's broken off inside that's blocking that. And that the assembly, the assembly that I looked up does not look like anything that I pulled out before. So let's start with step one of getting this cable off. And then maybe I'll pull that piece off again and show it to you because it doesn't look like it's broken. But if there's more to it, it's a two part piece or something and I'm missing whatever I'm missing. So, yeah, so there's the oil that's going to come pouring out of there. That's just gear oil that I put in the transmission, which is what the specs said. So, I don't know if you can see that. Is there supposed to be a gasket in here? No. If there was, it'd have to be installed already before this piece went on. Because this doesn't pull back. Joe Sousa says I should drain the transmission, then pull this. I think there may be something stuck in there. If that's the case, maybe this, this thing's got to come out, which I really don't want to do. But the transmission's got to come out. It's got to come out. Isn't like I've had it out before. 
a lot easier to take out though when the when the truck's just four wheels and a chassis <laughs> you do it from the top i'm not i'm not picturing myself laying on my back trying to lift that into place with a, a scissor jack or a floor jack or something so what i ended up doing just for today is i retightened um i put the put the thing back on retightened it i'm wiping it clean and i just not prepared to get into this so i'm just going to put out the question what am i what what's the next move here before i just start taking things apart and draining gear oil i'll just put it out there you guys what do i do here and i'll do some research on the internet and i'll get back on to doing that sun visor because that's easy enough to do i think you know but what do we know nothing's ever easy yeah so thanks for watching this and I might combine this with the other video. We'll see. So in the hour while I was doing the visor, there's a, looks like two good sized drops of oil on the ground there. So I fully expect that to be a mess in the next day or two if I don't drive this. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do there. I'm wondering if there should be a gasket in there or something. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Thanks for watching.